What's going on, Shrootstock Squad? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, do yourselves a favor, hit that subscribe button, come and join the Discord. Link is in the Patreon below, because we're building wealth out here. None of this is financial advice. Now let's get into the video. All right, fam, let's take a look at the portfolio right now. We're, at, we're sitting at 149. We're down a big chunk, 11K. You know, I show you the one day, one week, one month, three month, one year, and all time. This is stuff that you don't see this sort of transparency anywhere else on YouTube. And I'm telling you, if you want to see this journey to a million dollars real time and open and as transparent as you ever can, this is the place to be. Okay. All right, guys. Now let's take a look back here because we're down a big chunk because you know what play we're in that's heavy? CTXR. And this is the one that I'm going to talk about the most in, in this video, all right? CTXR, guys, this stock today is down a good amount, okay? And a lot of people were panicking this morning. And you know what I did? I did not. I didn't move. Look at, look at the stuff here, guys. There's no change to it, right? There's no change at all. Because you know what? Here's the thing, guys. Okay, here's the thing. Let's just talk about this stock because I know a lot of people in the Discord family today, they were panicking, they were worried, and <laughs> I was getting comments through YouTube and everywhere. People were texting me. Listen, guys, this is not anything to worry about, guys. This, <laughs> okay, let me tell you something. Nothing in the company today got released that said, you know, that the product is going to shit. <laughs> oh, crap, we messed up. This patient got a big, uh, you know, side effect. Nothing happened like that, guys. You guys need to stop getting emotional in the stock market. Go back to some of my videos. I, I, I know I'm getting a lot of new subscribers. Go back to some of my videos. I tell you one of the golden rules in the stock market, do not be emotional. Your stock market, the stock market is like a relationship, okay? Don't enter a toxic relationship if you can't handle it. All right. The, to the stock market is a toxic relationship. I'm telling you right now, you're about to enter a toxic relationship. You know how you, you know how you, uh, survive toxic relationship, how you can succeed and do anything. <laughs> Guys, you can't be emotional in it. You cannot take this stuff to heart. All right. And you got to have your due diligence and set. All right. Listen, I told everybody that this stock is going to do well and I'm, I haven't sold a single position. I haven't changed anything because I still believe it. I still know that this is the cat. The none of the catalysts have changed. They never got delisted from the Russell. They never changed the DMC review date, okay? So what happened today was this, guys. The company voted to have um, an additional amount of outstanding shares, okay? That's a share dilution, all right? But here's the thing. These are authorized shares. What that means is this, all right? These are not the same things that you got to see with uh, an NDM, where every time... A share offering was uh, was announced that the stock price dropped because then it would dilute the shares, right? Think of it this way: if, this, if the company has like five million shares and then they, uh, you know, they get an, uh, they get one of these um, approvals done for these outstanding shares, it's for like let's say another five million, it drops the value in half. Okay, do you follow what I'm saying, guys? So if this company, let's just say Sidious right now, only had in the in the entire like stock market itself, let's say there were only five hundred million uh, stocks that are out there, and if they decide to do a share offering for another five hundred million dollars, what that does is this, guys. It gives Sidious the ability to to uh, to put out an additional five hundred million shares. So what would that do to the price? It would drop it in half. But now here's the key. Here's the key. Okay, here's the key. These are not your traditional shares, guys. These are authorized shares. What that means is that this basically gives them the ability, okay, it gives Sidious the ability to, to put out 500 million shares. Now, I'm pulling that 500 million, huh, you know, that's just in this example. I, I think they had, I think it was 2 million or something. I, I, I don't know. Like, don't, don't quote me on it, but, you know, it was just double the amount, okay? But what that does is this, guys. It effectively allows Sidious to dilute the shares, but in a controlled manner when they wish, okay, at a, at a correct time. Now, why would the company ever want to dilute the shares? Why would they want to put more shares into this entire uh, stock, okay, guys? The reason why they would want to do this, okay, the reason why they want to do this is so that they can raise capital, so that they can raise money for their company. This is a good sign, because you know why I think this is a good sign, guys? They, because they haven't released it right now. Why would they dump it right now? They don't need the money right now. So why would they use it? They are using this right. They wanted this approved now, so that once Mineralock is approved, once they're starting to fund some of their other pipeline products, 
they can then use the additional funding that they would need in order to fu- to fund all of those things, guys. All of the sales, all of the research, everything, guys. Pharma isn't cheap, and they know that. All right, there's only so much money the CEO can uh, fork up, you know. So, you know, this guy is already in his head thinking of the next step in line. He's already thinking in his head. We, when we need to launch this product, when we want to launch the rest of these products, when we want to get our other R and D going. We need money, and this is just the beginning. Guys, don't panic over something like this. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. And I want you to take another look at something, okay? When you see something here, okay, I always tell you, I always tell you, do ne- never just jump in on a stock. Never do it, okay? Always divide your money into thirds, okay? Don't buy it all at once. And if you don't know what price entry to go in on or anything like that, you got to be looking at the charts, guys, and not the Robin Hood charts, okay? Robin Hood doesn't do the best job, okay? I only do this as a journey to show you guys things, but trust me, you want to have another platform open. But look at the charts the the five minutes uh, if you're trying to buy it in real time okay and if you can't do it that's fine but don't buy all of your money at once don't put all your money all of your money in at once okay you want to divide it into thirds and pick separate days on this thing okay so that's what i was telling people to do wait a while and don't just dump it in all at once now here's the thing let's just say you didn't know this advice and you weren't you know you didn't uh you know know what to do with this and you just bought it right up here let's just say you bought it at four dollars forty cents okay I'm going to tell you something. It's okay. Okay. It's okay if you did that. The stock is coming back up for you. Okay. We're going to be coming back up for you. And you know us that we've been rocking with this stock way back when, way back before in like March, all the way back over here. All right. And if you know anything about this stock, we've been following this thing on a long, long time. And the last time they had one of these stock offerings, the price, the price bounced back all within uh within the next day all right that's not to say right now that this stock is going to bounce up in the next day or anything like that who knows when but i'm telling you there's a lot of room to move in this stock it's getting added to the russell 2000 on friday after after hours so don't don't hit me up on friday morning and say sure what the hell why isn't the stock pumping it's after hours guys <laughs> chill okay it's gonna have an after hours on friday all right and then the dmc is going to be meeting on the 29th of june okay now before i'm already predicting half of you guys are, are gonna call it out that the 29th is gonna be the day this thing pumps up no i'm I, i'm gonna clarify this for the rest of the family here so i get this thing super clear all right What's going to be happening on the 29th is this. That's when the DMC is meeting, okay? And then they have five business days to respond with a decision, all right? Guys, five business days to respond with a decision. There's a weekend in between and a federal holiday, July 4th, all right? Happy birthday, America. Now, don't expect the positive catalyst to come on the 29th. It's likely the week after. Look, could it happen that day of? Sure, if... You know, let's just say the FDA decides to, you know, act quick. Sure, maybe it can. Realistically, they have five days to respond. <laughs> I know the go- I'm not- I have a feeling how the government works. You know, most things with the government, they like to take their sweet time. So <laughs> let's expect it to take, you know, at least they're going to enjoy their 4th of July weekend. I'm just going to say that. So there's still time to go, guys. There's still plenty. There's like two weeks to go on this stock, guys. I get you in on these stocks early, early, all right? This is what we do at Shrewd Stocks, all right? We're not, <laughs> we get on these plays early before half of the hype even came in. Guys, we got in on this play way back in the dollar region. You know what I'm saying? We got in here at the dollar region and we started averaging up. You know, as we saw this thing run up, we started averaging more and more. So we brought our dollar cost average to 247. But you know, this is how we do it here, guys. And still, I'm telling you, this is what I'm saying. They wanted to see you guys. They, another thing I needed to let you guys know, we're working with, um, what's it called? With hedge funds now. Officially with uh, Russell 2000 coming in and all these other uh, funds coming in. Guys, we're now in the world of big money hedge fund plays. All right. Expect a lot more stock market manipulation. All right. 
this is a this is just a ride, all right, fam. This is just a ride, family, and I do not want you guys to to fall off because you didn't have your seat belts locked in, all right. Lock them in. This is gonna be a bumpy ride, but we're gonna get there. I'm telling you that none of the catalysts on this stock has changed, all right. And if and let's just say, look, guys, this is not financial advice. I can't tell you what to do, all right. This is just me trying to show you my conviction in it, and I'm showing you my money where my mouth is, all right. This is stuff that nobody else is ever gonna do for you. Uh, in in at least I haven't seen this on YouTube like this. And guys, this play, I'm, nothing has changed for me on this stock, all right? I, <laughs> I, I want you guys to rock with the family here, and I'm going to tell you that this is, gonna, this is just the start of our journey, all right? This is just the beginning of our journey, and we're going to... This ten, this eleven k loss or whatever in our day, as we've seen this stock market, we've seen this portfolio fluctuate twenty grand in a day. You know what I'm saying? We've made a killing on some plays, and we've and we're gonna make a killing on City. Yes, all right. Just rock with, rock the course with us, and we're gonna dominate the market. All right, guys. Um, with everything like that said, guys, you know, I always appreciate all the comments that you guys give me. Let me know down below how you're holding up with Cydia's, how your how your stock market uh, portfolio is holding up overall. I want to hear any gains, losses, what plays you're in. Guys, I love this family and we're, we're making a killing out here. I love it. I love it. All right. If you want to go ahead and uh, give me a follow out on Instagram, I'll have the link down below. Join the Patreon, guys, if you actually want to go ahead and take your wealth and investment journey to the next level. I'm telling you we've had so many uh beginners and even seasoned veteran uh investors who joined us guys they've restructured their portfolio they're making a freaking killing take a look at some of the screenshots i've posted in the community tab guys this is i'm telling you i'm not financial advice but it's it's the place to go ahead and begin your journey all right anyways with all that said fam stay happy stay healthy and let's get wealthy take care